Alhamdulillahi ladhi anzala ala abdihi al-kitaba Wahlam yaj allahu iwajah Akmaduhu subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ashkuruhu wa hu ahli hamda wa thana Wa ashadu an la ilaha illa wa duhu la sharika lahu Wa ashadu an la muhabran abduhu rasuluhu wa mustafar Alahum salih wa salim ayla abdikar rasulika muhabran wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Alhamdulillah, bin Ayn we thank Allah Almighty always for everything, every opportunity. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, was saying that there are no two days that are the same. Either we're going up or we're going down. And the paradox of going up and down is that we are coming smaller and smaller and smaller in divine presence as a humility, or we're coming higher and higher and higher in our own mentality. It's a paradox. The lower you become in the way of Allah Almighty, respecting your Lord all the time, realizing that there's nothing that we do that he is not aware of. Allah says, Bismillah rahman rahim Allah says, to all belong the east, to Allah belong the east and the west. Wheresoever ye turn, there is Allah's countenance, for Allah is all embracing, all knowing. That has such a deep penetrating meaning that every time you see it, it should be different. Because we should be growing. And as we are growing in humility, then that very verse takes on a whole nother meaning. We may think in one meaning that it means that we turn to the east or the west or to the north or to the south and there is Allah. But more than anything else, if we turn toward the heavens, Allah is in that direction. If we turn toward the hell, Allah is in that direction. No matter what way we turn or what we think in our minds, Allah Almighty is there. We are sent here to gain some understanding of our Lord Allah Almighty. And he uses us to understand it. So Allah has set up so many trials and tribulations so many obstacles, so many difficulties. It's like a person who goes into a dark room. They're confused because they don't know, they can't see in that dark room. And they may harm themselves bumping into something. But when the lights are turned on in that dark room, they see clearly where everything is. But Allah almost always allow us to experience that darkness in everything that we do. Even the worst things that we do. Lying. Stealing being deceptive, fornicating, killing, stealing. Even in the midst of those actions, there is even something with us that brings us to a repentance, a regret about that action. Even though we think no one knows, no one could actually know what I do, what I'm doing. We know 
what we're doing so someone knows what we're doing. And Allah Almighty will use that to bring you from darkness to light. Never say that something is impossible. Never lose your hope. The Jews know that Allah Almighty used a rod to bring down Pharaoh and his kingdom. The Christians know that Allah Almighty used a rod to bring down Pharaoh and his kingdom. The Muslims know that Allah Almighty used Pharaoh, used Moses, used, I'm sorry, used a rod to bring down Pharaoh's kingdom. To bring Pharaoh down and to bring Pharaoh's kingdom, Allah Almighty used a rod. Why? Musa alayhi salam, Moses doubted himself. And Aaron Harun showed his doubt later when he allowed the people to build the calf. He helped them to build the calf. So he later showed his doubt. Even though Allah Almighty showed them Miracle after miracle after miracle after miracle. From the rod. So if Allah Almighty can use a rod to bring the kingdom of Pharaoh down and bring Pharaoh down, what about the human being? Allah used a bush to speak to Moses. What about a human being? Nothing is impossible. That's why Allah says in this book, there is no doubt in it. With guidance sure for those who fear their Lord and give out of what their Lord has given them. They were asking what was the personality of beloved Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? And his wife Aisha said, "Ready, right, ready, lahuan." Said that his personality was the Quran. Allah says, "There's no doubt." He had no doubt about the establishment of the kingdom of heaven on earth. And so even though from the point 1,500 years ago, people have left the light of Islam, the light of Christianity, the light of Judaism, which is one light, like the one sun that shines in the sky everywhere. Everyone through their own their isms and their schisms and their doubts and the confusion of their mentality to put themselves in darkness, thinking that they are separated from their minds and from their souls, have led themselves astray. Can't nobody lead you astray. We can only lead ourselves astray. And no one can guide us unless we accept to be guided. If Allah sent 124,000 prophets to us and we still refuse to accept guidance, never will we be guided. That is Allah Almighty's gift to us. The only free will we have, because we don't change Allah Almighty's will, the only free will we have is to go up or down. 